My mic just dropped. Alright. How's it going, YouTube watchers? This is the one, the only, the only giddy. And welcome back. Finally, after how long has it been? Probably four months of waiting. And we still haven't finished this game. I wonder. No! No! Oh my god, I just started. I just fucking started. And then the game crashed. Be right back, guys. I swear, this better not crash on me. This is gonna immediately dive right into the game. I don't. I don't remember the last time I did this. Actually, wait, give me one second. Okay, based on my knowledge of memory or just the fact that I looked up literally on my phone, we left off with this. God. It's been such a long time since I played this that I didn't really get that much into the story. Or no, I forgot all about the story. But you know what? We're gonna ease right back into this. Um, definitely want to save just in case something happens. So... Also, I gotta lay it down right now. Um, my throat is acting up for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm gonna try to <coughs> read clearly. I probably should take some medicine before I do this. Otherwise, I'm not going to. I'm not going to concentrate with all this coughing. I should actually cut away. So, I'm gonna take this pill first and then we're gonna dive right into the game. So, yeah, BRB. Ah! Oh. oh, that does not taste good. Have you guys ever had. Have you guys ever had. Sick pills? Ooh, they do not taste so good. Out of water. Here we That taste is gonna be in my mouth for the next few minutes. But let's go on ahead. Um, what did she say? The weight of yesterday's core still hangs in the air a little. Okay, so, yeah, I remember last time Yuri and Natsuki fight, so. such a bitter taste on my tongue that I can't even... Oh yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna have to chug through it. Well, I mean, I'm sick, so... Uh, um... Your glances over your shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me up to the corner of the room. God damn it, I thought it was working. About yesterday, I. I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot the. I forgot I named this. I forgot I named this dude Kirito. Yuri, I'm happy that you are considerate and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've been here for. Even though I've. Fuck, I can't read! 
Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little se extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems, but whatever it was, I didn't make it. It didn't make me think any less of you. Fuck, I can't read. I had already decided that there's no way that you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing. And now that you're apologizing. Oh, I thought that was a fear. I know you didn't really mean it. Oh my fucking god, I can't do that. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. Oh my god, that blushing face here. Take me. <coughs> Fuck, this is not working. They make me a little too happy. I'm really, gr I'm really glad that you're an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around now. Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I guess... I'm guessing you haven't either. Oh, she still has that face. Yuri's clearly t taken aback about how calmly Natsuki is addressing you. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can help a warrior a little bit. Oh my fucking god. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh my fucking god, Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. Huh? I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So. Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? We fight. Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. Oh! Good! We're all in, we're in the clear now! You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel any better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. No, not at all. I don't hate you. Yeah. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Not to get turns to me. You're still on trial though. Yeah, exactly. So I need to do let me this, Monica. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, not as good as. I was not. What took you so long, anyway? Period was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. That makes no sense, though. Well, you couldn't lose track of time when you're too busy on one thing, so yeah, I guess it makes sense. So. Feels weird. Both my nose and my mouth. Well, specifically 
the back part of my throat. It feels really weird. for a while, but I'm still not really good at it yet. I always wanted to, but I always wanted to play piano so I can do anime covers and stuff like that. But I'm, but I'm, used, but I guess I gotten so used to playing guitar that maybe I can do at least three or four songs. Still, that must uh, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Oh well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm work working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I want to go to town, Kirito. I didn't mean, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, no, don't worry. I was just hoping that I could share it with you anyways. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Good chance and luck. Does anybody get that reference? If you guys do, I love you forever. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything. Did I? No, not really. I choose not to bring anything... Bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Kirito. Um... Since your compliments put me in a good mood. I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Ah, I suppose so. Oh great, we get a little bit of Yuri time. I don't think I could say no to you after you give me that book to me. Give that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure that Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... she she's fine. Whoa. It's a little bit demanding there, Yui. I, I said Yui. I was thinking about Yui from fucking Angel Beats. She's reading over there. Yeah, thanks, Yuri. So it's okay, right? Ah, in that case, I don't see any problem. Okay! Whoa, that, that happy face. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Yeah, you're being a little bit forceful, but, you know, I don't, I don't give a shit. Oh my god, that blushing face. I miss the blushing faces. God, I should be, I should be playing this game till it finishes, which we're we're gonna get through it. I mean, I just need a lot of time and patience just to record the series. And I heard some interesting things happen in this part of the game, so yeah. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Oh my God, she's. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to have. It's nice to see you have so much energy. Hmm. Excuse me. I don't know what's going on with my body today. It's just going flim flam. <coughs> yeah. But I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. He takes a deep breath and pulls out a copy of her book and pulls out the copy of the book out of her bag. What's the story about anyway? Well, I'll get the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Mark Hoff. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. 
Okay, I'm gonna assume it's one of those horror novels. Basically, uh, it's about this religious cant that was turned into a- Yeah, basically. I knew it! And the people trapped there had this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. I fucking knew it. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Ooh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. I want to read something like that. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not, not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? To be honest, it is. But to be honest, I really would love to read something about that. You already made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Came from nowhere. Uh, you're not a fan of that, of that sort of thing, Kirito. Are you not a fan of this sort of No, it's not that. I mean, I can enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot Yuri is into those things. She's so s <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. She's so so she's so sly. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's just the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil. But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Right. That's oh, what the fuck is going on? I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel that I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts... Whoa, what? I'm gonna say it right now. Like things are about to get frisky. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's. I don't think. You need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is a lesson. It's a literature club after all. Well, that's kind of, that I was about to say that's kind of true. Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna love this game. Corner. Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but <laughs> what are you saying? Why don't we just get the book? I quickly retrieved the book that I had into my bag. That I put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to yours. Ah. Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. Oh, don't tell me she's a Cinderella too. That would be pretty awkward. It's just something I'm not very used to. That's, that is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Right. <coughs> <coughs> Open the book and start the poem. I still don't understand what Rue means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not... Maybe it's a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. 
<clears throat> I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Well, she knows. Fucking. You you really like to apologize a lot, don't you? Or you really apologize a lot. Sorry if I keep on adding things, it's just. Well, improvise a little bit, I guess. I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean. <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I sign my desk until it's up against yours. Then, hold my book more between the two of them. Ah. I, I suppose so. Very typically, what closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders almost touch her. Or almost touch her. If it was like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to open the book open. I guess this makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh boy. Here he takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. I did the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page, and Yuri slides under her thumb after she flips to her side. But, in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer to the other than before. It's actually kind of distracting to me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes me. Oh, fuck. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not used to her. You're not as used to reading, right? That's just me. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. Oh my god, my voice is starting to go, dude. But I'm gonna try to make this an hour long episode since it's been a few months. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn in it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. I found Jelly letting go of the page. Oh my fucking god, my voice! My voice! My voice is going away! Letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but character kind of reminds me of you. Oh my god. No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Definitely. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she say and all that. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Yuri? Are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little bit. Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your reading is a little. My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. My voice is gonna go, dude. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. Oh, my fucking I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practices 
practically rushes out of the classroom. Something happens just now? Nah? I have no idea. Jerry was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Wow, Monica. No, no, nothing. Uh, don't, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Jerry just... Judges this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Alright, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd start without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I what <coughs> left off in the book and then slip it back into my own bed. Guess I can show it to Natsuki. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot I did a poem. I like your last one better. Yeah, really? Yeah, well, I can tell you that you were a little more daring with this one. But you're not really good enough for that yet. It fell flat. That may be true, but I just wanted to try something different. I'm still figuring all this out. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Oh, you jelly? Joey, not to keep. Look at that blushing face. Not that I care that who you spend your time with. After all, I was never taught to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Buck up. So you should at least look over my poem. I'm a fucking god. I'm sorry, guys. I can't focus with this. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. <coughs> Ow. Okay, what is this? What is... Amy likes spiders, huh? You know what? I heard about Amy. Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, <coughs> ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Hmm. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would... Howling to the rhythm of the words, but she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. <sighs> One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her friends are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start talking to spider- Start to like spiders too. Talking to spiders. Yeah, I can't see one person who doesn't talk to spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it hurts anyone. If it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers, and I'm gonna tell everyone. What? What's wrong with spider lovers? Also, I'm not- I don't have arachnophobia. I can take seeing a tarantula, and I practically hang around spiders in my house, so... Not bad, right? It's quite a- a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I can do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this part. I doubt I had to explain it. Like, anyone would agree about the, that the subject of this poem is an encourager. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Just like you. I don't know. 
Something that you're afraid of if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of them. It just makes people stupid. But, oh fuck, I fucked that up. What did she say? I should say, but that just makes people stupid. Sorry guys, I really can't concentrate. Who cares if what somebody likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to respect others for liking weird things. That's true. Such as two girls in this very club whom I respectfully won't name. Well, there's four of us. There's me. You and there are two girls. So yeah. Kinda ironic that even in my one place of comfort I can't even have people respect for me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. But yeah, I do. For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. That's kinda not obvious that you respect your Stuff. Whatever, we're done sharing, so you can leave now. Okay. Hi again, Kirito. How's the riding going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm hoping that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, I wouldn't count on that, <laughs> because I ran like shit. And I'm Kirito. You never know. I wanna share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. You wanna pull in the manga? Alright, great job, Kirito. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. God, I really wanna see if DDLC can be an anime. I mean,. They did it with Nekoparo. They did it with Fate. So, can DDLC be an anime? Let me guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations up. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah ha ha, that's not really fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that... You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and some sim sim symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I really can't focus with this. I don't mean that I like is a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's totally giving up on people. She spends too much, so much time in her own head that it's probably much a more interesting place for her. <coughs> But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must have been really starved for social interactions, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stim stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! Back. Anything. Not really. Well, we all start sharing our poems with each other. Yeah. Already? Sorry for being late. No need to apologize. It's not plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Mark. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But, anyways, wanna read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me the bright colors, they want bright, beautiful colors. <coughs> <coughs> the 
flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, okay, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sighing, causing, tangent, like a, like playing on a chalk turn tip, like playing with a knife on a breathing wood cage. a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your good. Oh, fuck it, I anyways. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please. My advice for today. 10 out, of 10, 10 out of 10 best advice of the year. Wouldn't like. Wouldn't read again. IGN. Thanks for listening. to read this and in this voice wheel a rotating wheel turning an axle grinding bolt bolted linear gear box falling sky seven holy s stakes a dock ship a portal to another world a thin rope tied to a thick rope What the fuck? A torn harness? What the fuck is this? Parabolic gearbox expanding universe time controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God? What? Swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes. What the fuck is... A thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God 
disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and taking clogs, a clock that takes one second for every rotation of the planet. A, t a clock, I was about to say a clock, a clock that takes 40 times every time it takes every second time. Wow, that was, that's a rap lyric right there. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dog ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing stakes. Breathing god. Breathing. It sounds like I'm saying bleeding. Breathing. I was about to say. Breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. What the fuck? What is this? Okay, where's the music? It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Okay. Oh yeah, she had my pen. That is a pen. <laughs> Fell out of your bag yesterday, so I took it for safekeeping, and I um. I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it. <laughs> Tell me this isn't gonna go where I think it's gonna go. And now you're touching it. God. By the way, if you want to know how I knew that um, about the whole pen thing, a friend told me. He almost spoiled the game for me, but you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna ignore what he said. But I was like, hey, at one point, Yuri's gonna talk about a pen. So, yeah. I, I'm okay. What I, what did I just? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Yeah, can we? You can keep the poem though. You have a long, a special poem. Would you like to read? Is that it? Can I do anything? Can you hear me? Hold up one second. What the fuck is. Oh my god. Hold up. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Am I dying? We have something we need to go over today, so if everybody can sit at the front of the room. This is about the festival. Fuck those noise, man. Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can- Fuck, man. What is this? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Now that's a concern of mine as well. Hold up, what the fuck is- Oh. I didn't- really do well with last minute preparations. What the fuck was that? Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, everyone's been a, a little more lively ever since Kirito joined and we've started some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become composite. We still have only four members and the festival is our only real chance to find more. What's so great about getting new members anyway? New people. We already have enough to be considered an official club. More, men are, more members just mean anything. Everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. I was really 
share your passion with as many people as you can to inspire them to find the same feelings that you brought here in the first place. That brought you here in the first place. The Lawyers Your Club should be a place where people can express themselves when like they can't do it anywhere else. It should be a place so in intimate that you never want to leave. Is this just me or is the screen slightly moving? I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. And that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Kirito? Ah. Oh, come on! I can't even take advantage of, to, of Kirito. I can't fucking read. Say this game first. Can't even take advantage of Kirito to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Kirito joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Kirito isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. Hey, at least I'm trying. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're the only one who's so interested in finding new members. Fuck, Natsuki. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're the president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. She looks butthurt. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's word. Don't tell me Yuri and Natsuki are gonna fight again. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Kirito want to get more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kinda indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, it's up to me to rescue this situation. Um, no. Natsuki's right, is she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few. Fuck. Screw you, Natsuki, for hitting that truth hammer so fucking hard. Why do I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? Fuck. But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Kirito, why did you even join this club? We're you helping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given the choice not to join. Monica sit down and says, What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Oh fuck, now they're gonna fight. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Yeah, clearly. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone in this club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is that a problem with the... Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't that... There aren't many pl other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anyway, anything away. No, Kirito. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I wanted to join any other stupid club. But this one... Is she crying? I mean... At least for a little bit of time, things were nice. God damn it. This is a... This is an unexpected sad episode. 
Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. Oh, she is crying, isn't she? I feel like I don't belong here right now. Fuck. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well. Mm. Do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Okay, this game is weird. Who cares about that? <laughs> this is Brad. I mean, I like how quiet and how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy you're here. With you here. But still, I'm the vice president. Oh yeah, I forgot. Because not here. I guess. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed us. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck. This is took a different turn for the worse. Alright, I'm sorry guys. I, I gotta play in the dark now. So I should I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the right make the decision right for the that's right for the club. I can't fucking. I'm really sorry, guys. I can't really speak right now in this voice, but I'm not gonna finish this episode. In about 30 minutes. But what about you, Kirito? What do you want to get out of this club? It repeats the same question as Maka. I decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. The most important thing is for everyone to get along. But for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere, anywhere else, I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up make. That's what will end up making the Woodridge Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each member and with each change in member, I can't. the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your own comfort zone once, oh, in a while. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck, she's weird. <laughs> what the what is this game? So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Maybe we can all talk to Natsuki too. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri. I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel you deserve to know that I think you're still a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, kids? Um. Please don't take this the wrong way, but. I'm gonna chat a little bit with Kirito before I leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and that. It supports me as president. Hero it's a bit a little troubled, but she doesn't pr protest. Okay, I just I trust your judgment Monica. In that case I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Things have been a little bit hectic today. Wait, wait. 
Whoa, you don't think. Kirito, I just wanted to make sure you're, you're enjoying your time at this club. I really hate to see you unhappy. I kind of feel like I'm responsible for that as president. I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a bit... You know. Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly got to spend any time together. Tell me... Tell me she's not weird, too. I mean... I guess it's technical you've only been a couple... I guess... Fuck. And sorry, and I apologize if I keep going back and forth seeing the history because I really need to be clear. I guess it's technical... Technically only been a couple of days. Sorry. Sorry if I didn't mean to say something weird. I'm gonna turn on this light, I can't do this. But there are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. I can't, I can't fucking do this anymore. I can't. <sighs> um. Shiny. I'm jumpy right now. And it's going a bit uncanny for me right now. I'm mentally unstable right now. Secretive memories, memories of which I doki doki. Um, I wouldn't choose depressing words. Misery, anxiety, disarray, depression, hurt, poor. Disown, misfortune, shame. <coughs> Tenacious. Vivacious. Guys. Well. Hi to you. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? Okay, I'm gonna stop this right now because... What? Yeah, I'm gonna stop it right now because now it's starting to get a little bit random, so... Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be the... I didn't even know there was a main menu. Okay. So... Yeah, I'm gonna... Pause it right here because... Yeah, it's starting to become midnight. Also, I gotta, I gotta sleep so I can work on this project for school, so... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I, kn I know it's been a long time ever since I did DDLC, and... Trust me when I say this, I'm not gonna let this one slip out like I did with Confess My Love. In fact, I should get back on Confess My Love. Maybe it's time for a little bit of serious redemption. But anyways... The end of episode. What is this? 13? And 
things are really start to, starting to pick up just a little bit. So I can see how this game is weird or rated or identified as horror on the Steam page because it's definitely starting to get really fucking scary. So. Video. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and sub for more content like this. And let's just hope I can get the next episode out as recently as I can. So yeah. So thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video. So.